Hi guys, Mark here. In this video we're gonna check out the constellation Andromeda, aka Connie, see if it's something I have. But before we're gonna go to the video, I want to thank you all for all the support you've given me and all the comments and it is really fun, it's really fun, so thank you so much. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up on it, give me a comment down below because you maybe can help me see what kind of ship we're gonna do next. So if you want to help me, write it down. Give me some suggestions. And of course, if you want to support me even more, subscribe to the channel. So let's go to the clip and see the constellation Andromeda. And of course, guys, I stream on Twitch also. So if you want to support me there and follow me there, you all are welcome. So the link is down below. Look there. There we have it. Constellation Andromeda. It's real nice. Like the ship. Really nice. I hope you guys like this also because it's freaking cool. It's so freaking big also. So let's go in. So we're gonna go through the ship bit by bit and talk about it. Let's see if it's actually something people want to use and why I'm using it so on. So let's see. Because it's an amazing ship, guys. It is. It's a freaking amazing ship. So, what we're gonna do is go to some place and look it up. So, give me two seconds. Okay. The constellation Andromeda. We're gonna have some information about the constellation. The manufacturer is the RSI, Robot Space Industries. The role of the ship is a medium freighter gunship. Crew, three to four, no problems do it solo. The cost of it in game, it's 3,548,000 AUCs in game. Outside the game, for real money, it's 225 USD. To rent it, it's 7,960 AUC a day. And you can find it on New Deal in Lorville. And the weapons is it kind of works. Damn, they are good. They're good. I myself is have standard weapons, and the standard weapons for a pilot is a CF four hundred forty seven Rhino repeaters, and they are. I recommend those. But if you want to change them, go for it. The turret guns is the M four A cannons, size two, and they they work. But I should recommend you guys to upgrade the missiles, like. It's 52 missiles. It's 24 of them are Strike Force 2 size 2s, and 28 of them are Marksman IR size 1s. And it's real nice to have them. The parts is the shield generator is the 5MA Shamila. Shamili? Sha I cannot say the name. Shimali. Yeah, it's maybe Shimali. Size 2. Grade C class civilian. The coolers is the J Span. Size 2, Grade C, plus Civilian also. The power plant is Daybreak. Size 2, Grade C, Class Civilian also. The Quantum Drive, Balloon. Size 2, Grade C, and Class Industrial. And... Uh, they work. There's nothing really wrong with it. It work. I should rec recommend to you guys to upgrade. But... Yeah, just do it. Upgrade. Maybe heal generator, you do the FR-76, uh, the cooler, snow pack, maybe power plant. I, do, I, do, I think I do bleed there. And the quantum drive I use is XL1. But I can recommend you guys Google. That's one thing. Let's see what you guys like. So we're going to talk about uh, some some stuff on it. Like, the first thing, design. For me, personally, I love the design of it. Outside the ship and inside the ship. It's, I love it. It's like 10 of 10. One thing, maybe the design, it can change. It's maybe the windscreen of the pilot. Because they're all the bars, in a way. I don't like that. Second thing is the feeling of ship. I love the feeling. I love it's bigger. It's heavier. It, it just feel like a gunship so like that's amazing the weapons like i said is like it's a gunship it works it's great for 
bounty hunts and stuff like that. It's like guns with a punch and lots of missiles. So, perfect. Cargo, no problem there. 96 SEUs. So, if you want to upgrade from a Cutlass Black maybe to uh, Andromeda, that's what I did. That's, I love it. But I think it's like three full cargoes from the Prospector fits in the cargo. So that's like perfect. Parts, they work. Nothing really wrong with them. But like everyone does, upgrade them. Google a bit, check them out, ask a friend. And the last thing, the positive negatives. For me personally, it's my main ship. It's a lot of positives in this ship. But the negatives is maybe the windscreen, the bars in there. I hate them so much. Uh, they have a problem right now in 3.12.1 and I think it's had before also. Uh, the shields have holes in them and a lot of them, so sometimes you just explode. And then maybe ne negative is like PvP. If you go for like a smaller fighter ship, you're gonna have problem with the movement and stuff like that. Because it's not really meant for that. You need to go from a distance and stuff like that. So maybe that's negatives. So guys, I think that was it. I think I missed stuff. I, I always miss stuff. But if I miss something, guys, let me know in the comment area. Because I think I missed stuff. And let me know what you guys think of the constellation Andromeda, aka Connie. Because it's a great ship, guys. It is. I can recommend it. And I hope it got some more love in the next patch. But there was some information about it. I hope it helped someone. And yeah. So, guys, don't forget to like the video if you liked it. Subscribe. Help the channel grow even more. I appreciate it. You're, you guys are so kind. Thank you so much for all the support. And let me know in the comments area. Right, right, right. More. I'm gonna try to write to everyone. And of course, I'm on Twitch also, streaming as often as, as, as I can. And so join me there also. So see you in the next video, guys, and take care, and bye.